people who in the Ukraine after World War II died by the millions because of an artificial, um, how you say that, um, horse note, um, yeah, they, 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 they had their food, Fa famine, okay. an artificial famine. And the same they did in China in 1956, 1955. 40 million Chinese died. Nobody knows. It, it's called the Great Hunger. You can find it if you know what it's called. Nobody knows. So they, these people, and that is what Stan, Dr. Stanley Monteith of RadioLiberty.com, listen to the interviews he does on his radio program. It's very interesting. RadioLiberty.com. He says, these people do not think like you and me. They pray to a different God. Mm -hmm. And that God is Lucifer. It's very interesting that, you know, I think most people don't realize um, just how much the evil element plays into um, the whole control thing that's going on. Many people have possibly heard of Satanism as a cultic thing or, you know, they're just not exposed to it. Um, the mass they think, them. they think. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've because vaccination already is, because it is already, it has to do with blood and putting things into our bloodstream. Yeah. So that is Satanism in itself already. Absolutely. And someone's even gone as far as to say is that uh, accepting the vaccination is like accepting the mark of the beast. It's, it's self-fulfilling revelation prophecy, isn't it? Yeah. And that's where we're heading. We are heading towards fulfilling that prophecy, self-fulfilling yeah. in a way with what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Unless we just say no. And that can be done. And if, if enough people say no, um, then the people at the organizations that are helping now to put this whole awful agenda into place, they will crawl out of the woodwork and turn coats and come to our thing, to our side. Because I think, I know, a lot of people are being held hostage in their work situations. People who have an inkling of that things are not right as they are right now, when they think it's safe enough to take the jump, they will. And then all of a sudden, the, the number of people who are saying no to this disastrous agenda will be overwhelming. And, and we can really see to it that it's not going to happen. Well, let's hope so. Thank you very much, Desiree, for taking the time out to speak to us. It's been an absolute pleasure. And um, obviously, um, here. We, we're here. We hope that uh, we can do some work together in the future. No, no, I still have one quick question. Thank you. Um, yeah. Now you've just said that uh, obviously the more people that come out, the, the easier it will be for people to say no and be hurt. Now we've seen time and time again that um, major events will take place, whether they're orchestrated or natural. We all know that they're really orchestrated. Yeah. To kind of put people into fear mode, the same thing happened with, with the second Iraq war. Um, do you envision something like that happening again when the clamor for non-vaccination will actually start taking, uh, start getting pace. Well, it, it, yeah, I, I see it going to take place uh, and it has nothing to do with that the clamor uh, of against vaccination starts getting louder. It has to do with that <clears throat> in the course of things, they have planned this out in phases. And the next phase is that now people think, oh, the economic crisis is not that bad, but they are really building up to a, a second point where they <sighs> let the bottom go out from under it again but then in a real way and then probably together with a new viral attack either from viruses that they already have launched but that have mutated and really have gone bad in, in terms of virulence which is what happened uh, in 1918 it went with 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 waves in waves and I see, I see, yeah, in, in October, November, and maybe already in September, I don't know, I don't know, I, I see difficult times ahead, yeah. And the only thing that will help is to stay within that beautiful, divine realm of unconditional love. Because love is the only thing that will conquer any, everything. And love, real, true love, unconditional love, is something these minions cannot take. Thank you. Thank you.